red spot. Before we start, make sure to remove the battery and the power adapter. Remove the 2.5mm by 5mm screw. Loosen the four door cover screws. Remove the memory door cover. Loosen the two screws and remove the communications door cover. Remove the four 3mm by 3mm hard drive screws. Slide the 2.5 inch SATA hard drive out of the laptop. Remove the 11 2.5mm by 5mm base screws. Remove the three 2mm by 2mm wafer screws. Remove the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Unplug the fan cable. Loosen the six heatsink screws. Lift the heat sink away from the motherboard. Unplug the antenna cables. Turn the laptop over and open it up. Carefully unsnap the power button cover starting at the back. Slide the hinge covers off of the laptop. Remove the two 2.5mm two by 5mm screws. Carefully lift the keyboard up and slide it forward. 
Lift the keyboard cable clip up to remove the cable. Disconnect the media button cable from the motherboard. Pull the antenna cables through the motherboard. Loosen the antenna cables from the channels on the laptop. Unplug the camera cable. Unplug the LCD cable. Remove the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Lift the display away from the laptop. Unplug the Bluetooth cable from the motherboard. Remove the Bluetooth cable and card from the laptop. Remove the 2mm by 3mm screw. Unplug the two palm rest cables. Carefully lift the palm rest up and shift it forward. Unplug the cable under the palm rest. Remove the express card slot blank. Remove the three 2mm by 3mm screws. Lift the express card slot away from the motherboard. Remove the two 2mm by 3mm screws. Unplug the Wi-Fi catcher switch. Remove the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Unplug the optical drive from the motherboard. Unplug the speakers. Unplug the power button cable from the motherboard. Unplug the Wi-Fi catcher switch. Remove the 2mm by 3mm screw. Remove the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Remove the motherboard away from the base. Remove the 2mm by 3mm screw. Lift the circuit board out of the laptop base. The remaining piece is the complete laptop base assembly. Place the circuit board into the laptop base. Replace the 2mm by 3mm screw. Place the motherboard into the base.
replace the 2mm by 3mm screw. Replace the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Plug the power button cable into the motherboard. Plug in the speakers. Plug in the Wi-Fi catcher switch. Plug the optical drive into the motherboard. Replace the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Plug in the Wi-Fi catcher switch. Place the Wi-Fi catcher switch onto the base and replace the two screws. Plug the express card slot into the motherboard, pressing firmly over the motherboard connection. Replace the three 2mm by 3mm screws. Replace the express card slot blank. Plug the cable in under the palm rest. Place the palm rest onto the base and plug in the two cables. Replace the 2mm by 3mm screw. Place the Bluetooth card into the laptop. Reroute the Bluetooth cable. Plug the Bluetooth cable into the motherboard. Replace the display assembly onto the laptop base. Replace the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Plug in the LCD cable. Reroute the antenna cables through the channels on the laptop. Plug in the camera cable. Feed the antenna cables through the motherboard. Plug the media cable into the motherboard. Place the keyboard cable into the connector and press the clip down. Replace the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Replace the hinge covers. Snap the power button cover back onto the laptop. Close the laptop and flip it over. Plug in the antenna cables. The PAN card will use blue, the WAN card will use gray and black and gray and white, and the LAN card will use black and white. Cleaning the heat sink and applying new thermal pads or paste is recommended before reinstallation. Place the heat sink onto the motherboard. Tighten down the heat sink screws in the numbered order listed on the heat sink.
plug in the fan. Replace the two 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Replace the three 2mm by 2mm screws. Replace the 11 2.5mm by 5mm screws. Slide the 2.5 inch SATA hard drive into the laptop. Replace the four hard drive screws. Replace the door cover and secure with the two screws. Place the memory door cover onto the base and press around the edges to make sure it seats properly. Tighten down the four retaining screws. Replace the 2.5mm by 5mm screw. Replace the battery. We hope you found this tutorial useful. All parts discussed in this tutorial can be found at partspeople.com.